Opo, may prayer po pareho yung dalawang petitions. Nasabi ninyo na doon sa dalawang usaping yun ay humiling doon sa isa ang dating Pangulo, sa ikalawa ang dating First Gentleman ng Temporary Restraining Order. Opo. Okay. Nagkaroon po ba ng Temporary Restraining Order? Meron po. Nagpalabas po ang Korte Suprema ng Temporary Restraining Order noong November 15, 2011. Ano, ano yung uh, tenor ng temporary restraining order, Madam Secretary? Ano rin restrain nila? Restraining or enjoining the respondents, meaning ako po, oh. uh, and uh, BI Commissioner, from implementing or enforcing the watch list. both the circular number 41 po and yung mga watch list orders. Meron po ba kayong kopya noong temporary standing order na inyong nabanggit? Meron po. Pwede po, pwede po, pwede, Your Honor, can pwede pong, ah, it was already pre-marked po. Pinakikita ko po sa inyo ang isang notice of resolution ng Korte Suprema ng petsa ay Nobyembre 15, 2011. Ito po ba ang temporary restraining order o tiyo rong inyong tinutukoy? Opo. Na temporary restraining order, yung pinaka-resolution mismo ng majority at may mga naka-attach po na tatlong dissenting opinions. Okay. Uh, meron bang uh, tanong uh, taning yung uh, temporary restraining order na inisyo ng Korte Suprema dyan sa dalawang kaso na yan, Madam Secretary? Wala po. Ito po yung uh, this is the uh, so-called indefinite TRO. Open-ended yung Open-ended TRO. Open-ended po. Yes, Your Honor. I would like to make it of record that this uh, notice of resolution was pre-marked this morning as non nonapol T and uh, attached to the notice of resolution was the temporary restraining order itself in total marked as exhibit T1 and the attached uh, dissenting opinions of Justice Sereno as exhibit Nonopol does too, Justice Carpio, dissenting opinion, Justice Carpio, as Nonopol T3, Nung matanggap ninyo itong notice of resolution na nakamarkang exhibit non apolti, kalaki po yung mga ibang exhibits na nabagit ko sa inyo. Ang pagkakatanda ko po, nung, nung natanggap ko yung kopya po nitong November 15, 2011 TRO, So, yung pong ibang dissenting opinions na uh, ng ibang justices, yung dalawa, uh, 
yung ba'y natanggap ninyo pagkatapos na natanggap ninyo itong uh, exhibit na no, naborti? Opo. After November 16, let me just double check. Uh, well, nat natanggap din po namin yung uh, uh, copy ng dissenting opinion nung no November 16, yung copy ng dissenting opinion ni Justice Sereno. And then yung dissenting <coughs> opinion ni Justice Carpio, ito po yung nakakabit dun sa kopya ng November 15, 2011. Yung pong ki Justice Reyes. No. Ki Justice Reyes, mas huli po. I think natanggap po namin ito November 17, the next day na po. Salamat po. Um, ito pong uh, temporary restraining order na ang marka ay exhibit nonopol T that's one Hihiligin ko po sa inyo para sa kalaman ng hukumang ito at para sa record. Na kung pwede po, pwede po basahin ninyo yung conditions, yung the conditions of the under the TRO. Kayo na po bumasa. Okay, kagaya, no, kagaya po nang nasabi nyo, it would appear from the tenor of the tempor of this temporary restraining order na isa po itong conditional TRO kasi meron pong tatlo na mga conditions na linagay dito yung uh, court decision basahin basahin po ninyo number 1 yan po yan 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 po ninyo basahin Opo. sa TRO mismo uh, condition number 1 the petitioners shall post a cash bond of 2 million pesos payable to this court within 5 days from notice hereof Failure to post the bond within the aforesaid period will result in the automatic lifting of the temporary restraining order. Two, the petitioners shall appoint a legal representative common to both of them who will receive subpoena orders and other legal processes on their behalf during their absence. The petitioners shall submit the name of the legal representative also within five days from notice thereof. Hereof. And number three, If there is a Philippine embassy or consulate in the place where they will be traveling, the petitioners shall inform said embassy or consulate by personal appearance or by phone of their whereabouts at all times. Yung uh, cash bond is for both uh, petitioners. Opo. Your Honor. Kailan po sa kauna-unang panahon o petsa na dumating sa inyong kaalaman na merong TRO na ipinalabas ng ating Kodi Suprema? Yung kopya po ng TRO na tanggap namin sa DOJ umaga noong November 16, meaning the next day. Pero noong November 15 po ay napanood ko yung press con ng Court Administrator kung Chief PIO or Spokesperson Maidas Marquez. Kung hindi po ako nagkakamali, it's between 1 to 2 p.m. of November 15 na merong press con at inannounce ni uh, Attorney Maidas Marquez na meron nga daw pong TRO na inisyo ang Korte Suprema dun sa dalawang consolidated cases. Kung meron man, ano pa po bang in-announce o ipinatalastas ni Ginong Marquez doon po sa uh, conference? Ito po ba yung napanin sa television o sa radio? O naroon po ba kayo? Wala po ako sa press con. Ang natatandaan ko po, nasa palasyon po ako nung oras na yun at mer meron, ho akong na meron ho akong pinanood, may monitor po doon 
at nakita ko yung...